What is going down, peoples of the YouTube? This is Sim with Vengeance, the mayor of Jam City. And before we begin, I want to apologize on my home run count. It was 24, not 29. Um, yeah, kind of a, a fuck up on my part. But hey, we live and learn. No big deal. Anyway, we're going to go to the standings here. And you see the Cardinals with that ridiculous 106 win record. Oh my goodness, 106 and 56, that is outstanding, that is ridiculously good. Don't be surprised if they win the World Series. The Braves, 82 and 80, not that hot, but hey, they won the division. Rockies, nine, almost 90 wins, 89 wins right there, that's pretty impressive right there. You see the Brewers and the Dodgers in the wild card slots. And then you see the Blue Jays winning with 100 wins and the Red Sox two games behind them. And then you see the White Sox, 85 wins, pretty good right there. Even though they didn't finish hot, well, yes and yes and no. I mean, they had a three-game winning streak, but they finished three and seven. So, you know, there was a losing streak in there somewhere. Then you see the Red Sox winning that wild card along with the Rays. So there's your playoffs right there. You know, my Cubbies are out of it. Of course, you never see a a team with a below 500 record miss the playoffs in baseball. Or at least I haven't seen it. So, um, see right there, not bad. Um, 290 batting average, 24 home runs, 58 RBIs, a, a almost 600 uh, slugging percentage, which is pretty good for a guy who hasn't had many opportunities. You know, most of my season this year was coming off the bench. And, you know, look at my averages against some teams. You know, I'm, I think the best team that I've loved playing against would be the Brewers simply because of what I've done against them. And as you see right there, yeah, right there, you see that uh, those were the last three games of the season you, you saw in the last video. So um, would you like to see uh, my – I'm going to see my results here for my training. My The regular season's over. And we're going to go to play the next appearance. And it looks like the Toronto Blue Jays and the Atlanta Bra – Toronto Blue Jays and Atlanta ah. – Atlanta Braves and the Blue Jays have won the World Series in the 2014 season and would you like to go to the offseason yes I didn't win any awards this year which is pretty unfortunate I didn't win rookie of the year um, some other guy did but with the sluggish start that I had you can understand why I started to really find my swing later on in the season uh, but that's a good thing you know hopefully we can find some players that can you know contribute like I did in the second half and what Anthony Rizzo did this season. Same with Darwin Castro. You know, those were our th big three hitters. Darwin Barney was there every once in a while, but, you know, he wasn't like that it factor. He's more of that contact guy. He's not really known for power. Neither is Castro, but he, he provides more of a threat than Darwin Barney. So we got to go and try and find a guy who can replace Soriano at the play, even though Soriano really didn't contribute a whole lot to the team this year. So, what can the Cubs do? What can I get this offseason as far as a contract? Because I'd love to get myself a nice contract. I just I think the second half of the season has really proven to me that I think I belong in the major leagues, and I deserve a, a nice contract. So we're gonna see right here that, um, yeah, um, we're trying to get that big contract, and hopefully we can get that. I'm looking for a long-term deal. Maybe not this year. But maybe a couple years down the road, maybe even next year, if I perform well, if I if I break through, that's my biggest thing that I'm worried about. If I break through and not and have a better year than last year, and if I just you know hit 30, my goal is to hit at least 30 home runs and have 100 plus RBIs, and possibly hit 300 and have a few stolen bases here and there. Because you know you've seen me steal some bases. I'm pretty good at it. You know I have my fuck ups like everybody else does, but you know. In most cases, you see me stealing bases and doing it pretty successfully. So, we're going to see right here, uh, Rule 5 Draft, which I'm not a part of at all. So, we're going to go to uh, look for better contracts, but I don't think I'm going to really get one. Not many teams are out there looking for a third baseman like me. So, I mean, in my my own way, um, I think, of you know, I'm trying to fill the shoes of Aramis Ramirez. And I think Anthony Rizzo is trying to fill more of the shoes of Derek Lee back when the Cubs were pretty dominant back in the day, back in like 2000 and, 2008 and 2009, maybe 07 too. 
uh, they were pretty dominant with Lee and Ramirez and Soriano. We're trying to get that that mesh back together. Hopefully, get a decent rotation too to back it up. You know, we have a top heavy, a very top heavy um, rotation. Our pitcher won eight. Our ace pitcher won 18 games this year. That's pretty fucking good, if you ask me. But the bottom of that rotation in the bullpen are the biggest concerns like out of any team that I've ever seen. I think Marmol had some like he's still yes, he's our closer on this game. Marmol had I think close to 30 saves, but you know, that's not a whole lot. If you want to be a if you're a good playoff team, you know, your closer's got he's got to have somewhere most of them in most cases I've seen, they usually have close to 35 40 saves. So, you know, that's not really something that's you know, good if you're a Cubs team that has really just struggled to get wins and you know we're getting wins we were getting wins and later on in the season but we gotta we just gotta find a, a good bullpen and some other good hitters because Rizzo me and Castro and Barney well I think Castillo is alright he's that guy who hits about 270 and he, he contributes but he's not that guy He's he's a good defensive catcher. And that's what I, that's what I like about him too. He's very defensive catcher, um, but not a good hitter. I mean, he'll hit one out of the park every once in a while, but he's not that that guy. And as far as the outfield, uh, we lost Scott Harrison this off season. Uh, we lost Soriano due to age, and our center fielder seems to change like every goddamn day. So our outfield is another big concern. We don't know who's going to be in our outfield for this year, uh, especially now that Scott Harrison and um, Soriano are gone. I mean, we don't even have Tony Capana. I like. Speaking of Tony Capana, I did. Oh man, he has a lot of potential when he was with the Cubs back in the day. In real, in reality, so we're gonna. Yeah, I miss Tony Capana already. He was a good player, so uh, you still you still see here we're not getting the contracts that I expected, uh, not even the money I expected either. Only four hundred ninety thousand dollars that they're willing to give me. They're not even. I've tried to get it up to five hundred thousand, but they're not willing to budge. So we're gonna go go send through the out, off season here, and they're gonna give me that crazy four hundred thousand dollar contract. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you're a first time viewer of Sim with Vengeance, please subscribe. Until then, I'm out. Peace.